So I'm on my way to Cars and Coffee Blackhawk, which is one of the best, in my opinion, Cars and Coffee is in the Bay Area, if not the U.S., from what I've seen pictures of. Uh, the scale of the thing is just enormous. There is anywhere from 400 on most weekends to their record is 700 cars. It's just absolutely insane. Um, I don't know how to describe it. Uh, I'm, I'm getting there a little later than normal, um, so parking might be tough. I don't actually park my car to to, to, to show it, so to speak. I just kind of park off in the general parking. Um, I just drive a Mustang EcoBoost, which is, you know, at a normal Cars and Coffee, I'd park and have discussions with people. It'd be great. But this Cars and Coffee is just absolutely insane for the level of cars. I mean, and, you know, you're, I don't know if you can see any of the cars passing me, but I've had a couple of Jaguars and some other neat ones passing me. Uh, there's a brand new F-Type that just passed. I probably got it yesterday. Uh, part of what happens is this this Cars and Coffee is in a very affluent area. The San Francisco Bay Area is kind of like that anyway, but this is like affluent among affluent. I mean, the houses I'm driving past, I'd, I'd be surprised if any of them are less than seven figures. Um, it's just absolutely insane. I mean, to give you an idea, I the first one I went to, which was last month, the first time I started coming to this thing, the, I'd never seen a GT350R in person. I'd seen a few 350s, but never an R. I saw my first one last last month, and my second, and my third. Um, it's just crazy. I mean, Lamborghinis, uh, Porsches, Ferraris, McLarens. Um, I haven't seen anything. I mean, it's not like anybody brings a law Ferrari, but there are a ton of hundred, two hundred, three hundred thousand dollar supercars at this Cars and Coffee. It's just nuts. And there's it's just absolutely insane classic cars. People have done some fantastic resto mods on. I mean, I'm sure they probably paid someone to do them. You know, it's just absolutely bonkers. You'll see lines of Hellcats, Vipers. I mean, it's just, it's so cool. So, I mean, for, if you're into cars, this is just, this cannot be beat. Um, like I said, it's, it's, it's a little bit of an event. Uh, it's once a month uh, at the Blackhawk Auto Museum, uh, which is technically in Danville, even though I think they say it's Blackhawk, which is like this little community, but it's not really a city. Uh, but the Blackhawk Auto Museum, which is worth a visit on its own, they have a lot of really neat old cars. I don't think I've ever seen so many Duesenbergs. Um, all just fully restored, gorgeous, better than show quality cars. Um, yeah, just absolutely insane. So I'm pulling up here. Um, hopefully I can get a parking spot. Uh, it's a little dodgy. I've had I had trouble last month when I got here at 7.30 and it's 7.50. Uh, so I had a little bit of trouble with my camera getting it connected and kind of waylaid me a little bit. So hopefully I'll have some pretty cool cars to show off in a little bit. Okay, let's take a look at some cars.
What you doing? I got nothing for you. <laughs> You're looking for the treats. <laughs> Who's got them? Who's got them? My daddy's got them. My daddy's got them.